Here's your here's your free stream, Maximoff. <laughs> hold on. I'm a professional. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> You're giving out free streams? Yeah, giving out free a free stream. You would never give us a free stream. There you go, there you go. Okay, it's fine, everything's fine. Looking Stop for a, a game to capture. Wait, what is this Scuff one? stream! Woo! Oh my god. Everybody scuff and stream! Scuff stream! Woo! Yeah. Can Disney copyright that? I don't know. Eh. Probably not. Anyway, have fun! Thanks! <laughs> Thanks, Grezzy. Guest appearance by Grezzy. Woo! Why doesn't it want to show the game? <laughs> show the game! She's gone now. <laughs> She's just left me to suffer. Uh, why doesn't it want to show the game? Game, please? Game? Game? Or did I have to do something different for this one? Because this is like an older game. Maybe this doesn't work. She's always there. Yeah, she's always here in my heart. Hold on, so maybe I won't do the game capture? Watching me suffer. <laughs> exactly. Um, we'll just do a screen capture, I guess. Not my whole screen, not my whole screen. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's it, that's it. We had to do a screen capture. Probably because this is an older game. It runs on like some... <laughs> I had to like do some weird stuff because it runs on like an old like version of DirectX or something. <laughs> so hello, welcome back and welcome Maximoff. Thank you for coming. Thanks for redeeming your, your free stream. <laughs> nice touch on the Duck Trails tunes. <laughs> Almost doxing? No, no, there was no dox. There were no docks here. We're not in a harbor at all. There's no docks. Let's see. Maybe there's docks for sky ships. <laughs> no dogs. No dogs either. No ducks. None of that. Okay, so we're going to continue. I think it's funny. We played this game for like six hours last time, and we're still in the prologue. <laughs> this, this is going to be a long... It's gonna be a long uh, stream series. <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be a long game. All right, what were we doing? So like we finished that. So last time, do like a quick like catch up. A quick catch up. Oh yeah, am I coming through okay? By the way, looks like everything's okay. Hey, let me let me look at the levels on the sound. The game might be a little loud. I'm gonna turn the game down a little bit. Oh, it's already turned, like, way down. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, well, let me know if anything is too loud or too quiet. I think it should be okay. Uh, let's see, so do we have... Yeah, okay, I am glad we have, like, a quest... A quest log. Ah, uh, I think we need to, um... Yeah, let's report back to the guild. Okay. Yeah, so last time we have Joshua and Estelle, who are, si well, they're adoptive siblings. There's been a, <laughs> there's been a little Sweet Home Alabama uh, implications going on. <laughs> but it's okay, they're just adopted, they're not actually related. Um, or, well, Joshua is adopted. Uh, they live with uh, Estelle's dad, uh, who just, uh, he just found Joshua, I guess, like, on the side of the road or something, and he just adopted him. <laughs> Um, yeah, and so we've been following them. They, um, Cheese Gorgas? <laughs> Why am I Cheese Gorgas now? <laughs> uh, and hello, Jinx. Welcome. Thanks for, thanks for dropping by. Um, let's see. So we were following Joshua and Estelle, and they, they have become bracers, which is basically just like a licensed adventurer, pretty much. Just like a, a, or like a mercenary or whatever. Basically like a part-timer. Just like, we'll just do whatever jobs you give us. Like we had a job where we just like replaced a light bulb in like a street lamp. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll do whatever. Um, and so we've just kind of been following them around, like doing that, like kind of gaining some experience. Um, and like getting to know like the different, like the 
we kind of been, we've kind of been getting to know the town that they live in. I forget the name of the town, but <laughs> it shows how much uh, I, I pay attention. And yeah, we just kind of finished this big job for the mayor where we got like a big crystal out of a mine and there was like a cave in and stuff and we rescued everybody. So that was the that was, that was where we left off. Oh yeah, and there was some like, um, there was like a girl from like a magic, from like Hogwarts or whatever was here <laughs> talking to the mayor about something and we just met her. She seemed nice. I think she, I think from like art that I've seen of the game, I think she joins the party later. So we'll probably see her again. So I think we're just going to head back to the guild and report that we finished the job for the mayor. Which I think is right here, yeah. I'm going to do a self-hydrate, and there we go. So we'll talk to... Aina, that's her name. Good work. It looks like you ran into a bit of trouble at the mine, though, huh? Huh? How'd you know? I got a call from the mine. <laughs> <laughs> they said that they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Oh yeah, I kind of keep forgetting, like, even though everything kind of looks like kind of semi-medieval fantasy, they, they have, like, uh, basically magic technology, so they're, like, almost kind of modern tech. So they have phones and stuff. Uh, how about you give me a report of what happened? Okay, then, this is what happened. <laughs> Received payment! <laughs> wow. Got the payment, got the BP. Current rank is 8th class junior bracer. Very nice. It looks like you did much more than anyone was expecting from you. <laughs> Our expectations were so low, but you exceeded them. Dealing with unexpected accidents is also a part of our mission as bracers. I hope to see more great things from you in the future. You just leave that to us, star emoji. Well, you don't have to worry about Estelle missing anything, since her nose is always in everything. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Hey, why are you saying that I'm super nosy like that? Because you are. Your skills lie in being direct, nosy, and naive, right? <laughs> well... Isn't that being a bit harsh, Joshua? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Wait, also, is this like... Okay, yeah, that's on there, correct. Alright, that's enough, you two. Okay, this is the last of the jobs you'll be doing for Cassius. I think was that a... I think that's uh, Estelle's dad's name. Because, yeah, he had to go on, like, a special mission, and so we've kind of been doing his, like... We've been doing his side quests for him <laughs> while he's gone. You've heard of the Liberal News, right? You'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for a news story. Oh, nice, we're reporters now. Isn't that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? When you say cooperating with them to get some coverage, just exactly what does that entail? It seems that they're looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of a dangerous place. You'll need to ask the reporters directly for the details. The reporter and camera woman from the news service are staying at the Hotel Roland. Here's a referral from the guild. Alright, how about we get over to the hotel and talk to these people? Good idea, let's go. Alright. Let's go, main story quest. Actually, I mean, did I have... Yeah, I had this other side quest, but it's in a place that I haven't even really been to. The, um, it's native... The Forest of Mistwald, south of Roland. Wait, that's the name of the town that we're in. And the latter comes from ins yeah okay we have these savory pinions because they're from the bug monsters but we've not found a bear claw <laughs> a flower known as a bear claw so it's kind of waiting until like we <laughs> figure out how to get to that area the uh it's just called oh the mist walled oh it sounds so mysterious okay hey do you know where those people are uh, Vern, I was wondering if I could ask you something. Is it true that the people from the magazine company are staying here? Well, you're certainly right about that. Did you have some business with them? Actually, we're here representing the guild to cooperate with them on getting a story. Really, is that so? 
Then I regret to inform you that they are dead. No, <laughs> both of them are out at the moment. Oh, well, do you know where they went? That reporter fellow said something about heading over to the bar. <laughs> How about you try asking there? The bar? Got it, thanks. We appreciate the help. Alright. Let's go. The two spots in town, the hotel and the bar. I mean, that is most RPG towns anyway, isn't it? Which one of you is the reporter? Is it you? Huh? Whoa, look at this guy. He's got the stubble and he's got like a messed up cigarette. <laughs> Who are you kids supposed to be? Are you perhaps the reporter from the Liberal News? That's right, but how do you know that? I like getting the scoop on things, but I hate it when people try and pry into my life. What business do you have with me? I wonder if he's a, a party member. He has like a portrait and everything. We're here representing the Bracer Guild. We were told that you had requested an escort. Oh, so you finally come, have you? I've been waiting forever for you guys to show up. <laughs> Hi, Rev. Welcome. Wow, you're on a three month streak. Man, you've been there, like, since, basically, since I became affiliate, huh? Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate all your support. All that. I actually, I don't know if I've, like, talked about it. I think I got my first, like, payment from Twitch recently. Because um, I think I, I managed to get over the, the $100 mark. So, yay! <laughs> Paid for a small amount of what I've spent. <laughs> Whoa, a hype train is close. What? Oh, Kotaro. Potato is here. Oh, yeah, and also, Rev, I do appreciate the trails in the sky, more like lines in the sand. <laughs> and then Kotaro. Oh, for four. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rev. He was there He was there a month earlier, apparently. <laughs> but yes, thank, thank you to both of you for, for resubscribing. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. So thank you, welcome! Kotaro is a G, that's true. <laughs> no, he's a P for potato? I didn't say anything. <laughs> let's see, let's, talk to, let's keep talking to unshaven man. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> unshaven man. Um... You finally come, have you? Oh yeah, I already read this. So, uh... Kot Kotaro is a P? <laughs> yeah, it stands for potato. I mean, I also I also just noticed I like the way Kotaro spelled it. Potota? Potota? Where's Cassius Bright? Well, the thing is, he had another job come up. I also like, <laughs> I love that the, uh, the looping for that animated, <laughs> for the animated, uh, emote, like, works pretty much perfectly, like, <laughs> like, when you put them in a row, like that. <laughs> like, it's just going between, like, the frames. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, and how, how are both of you doing? I hope you both are doing great today. This is oh my god, so many so many air laughing ergos. <laughs> like, ah. I'm trying to make the face. <laughs> but I hope you do, I hope both are doing great this evening. Asuka. Oh yeah, she does kinda yeah. <laughs> she does kinda look like her, doesn't she? Uh, but this is Estelle. She's less Sundere than, than Asuka. <laughs> Although, uh, okay, I will say I haven't actually... I haven't actually watched Evangelion, so I don't actually... All I really know is, like, memes and whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry if that makes me a fake anime fan. <laughs> uh, so he's not even in Rolent. What? I came all the way here so I could get a story on this famous bracer. Well, he's our dad, so we could tell you about him. It's okay, yeah. <laughs> it's okay that I haven't seen Evangelion. 
crap, what a waste this trip turned out to be. I don't get what you're so disappointed about, but there's no need to get your boxers in a bunch. We've got you covered. <laughs> or well, there was like a there was like a music note emote, so it'd be like, we've got you covered. <laughs> Guess I don't have much of a choice. You'll have to do. Wait, what did you just say? Don't get your boxers in a bunch. No, no, no. The the we've got you covered part. What do you mean by that? It's just like Joshua said, we're your representative bracers. Oh, and here's our referral. Hey, this has got to be some kind of bad joke. Are you trying to tell me that you little brats are bracers? Yeah, we just graduated today. <laughs> brats, is that how you're supposed to address a lady? Yeah, don't get your boxers in a bunch. <laughs> what do you mean, lady? There's no... <laughs> Oh boy, uh, there's nothing sexy about you in that outfit. <laughs> She's like 16, dude. <laughs> oh my god, if you don't like my- No, I don't even want to read this. <laughs> no, I don't like this guy anymore. <laughs> I liked him at first because he was like a hard-boiled detective. <laughs> oh my god. How about slipping- Also, isn't she- She is wearing a skirt. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, God, what are you even talking about, unshaven man? Go shave. This clothing is specifically designed for those who wield a staff. And this looks like a skirt, too. Yeah, see, that's what I was saying, Estelle. <laughs> You're wearing a skirt. She is wearing a skirt. You're such a rude old man. Yeah, he's like 25. What a rude old man. <laughs> yeah, who are you calling an old man? I'm still in my 20s, damn it. <laughs> You're acting like a weird old man, though. He wants the Colonel Mustang uniform policy? Oh. <laughs> Getting back to business, sir. Yes, please, please, let's get off this subject. The fact is that we were dispatched by the guild. I'd be more than happy to introduce you to someone else, but I don't know when they'll be free. Ah, I can't extend the deadline any longer. Guess I've got no other alternative. Alright, rejoice you kids, I'm gonna leave this up to you. What a generous old man you are. Easy, Estelle. <laughs> I'm Joshua, and this here is Estelle. And you are? I'm Niall Burns. Niall? Niall? Neil? Or is it Neil? <laughs> Maybe Neil. I'm Neil Burns, ace reporter for the Liberal News. Though we won't be working long together, I hope you'll do a good job. <laughs> huh. Be grateful when this is all over, too. Or I'll be grateful when this is all over. By the way, where is it exactly that you want us to guide you to? The way I see it, you need a trusty guide because you're headed somewhere dangerous, right? Right, my destination is the Esmelis Tower. <laughs> the Esmela Esmelis? <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of it before. You know the one. <laughs> That's it. Not only have we heard of it, but we were there on a job not that long ago. Well, this may just work out after all. So what I really want you to do is guide us to the tower roof. I want to get a picture for the magazine. Well, aren't you the thrill seeker? By us, do you mean that someone else is coming along too? Yeah, I've got my camera woman with me. She said something about her Orbal camera not working right, so she took off to the Orbal factory. <laughs> Orbal is like what they call their like magic devices. <laughs> if you, if you didn't, if you weren't here before, she should have been back by now. If you're in a hurry, then wouldn't it be a good idea to head over there now? No doubt you're going to take off to get your story once you meet up with your partner, right? Yeah, that's true. Alright then, let's head straight to the tower once we pick up my partner from the Orbal factory. Alright. Let's go to the Orbal factory. <laughs> Girl with glasses. <laughs> Wait, anything but that. Well, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll do anything you ask, just please give me back my camera. It's worth more to me than my life. This is a problem. What should I do about this, Dad? You're the one who took the job, so you're the one who has to deal with it. I'm just gonna walk in place over here. <laughs> What's all the fuss about? Could this person be... That's her, alright. Hey, Dorothy, how long are you gonna keep me waiting? N Neil, Niall, Neil, you came just at the right time. 
Please help me out here. Why'd you do this time? You didn't waste all your money, so now you don't have enough for repairs, did you? That's amazing. How did you guess? Are you like a clairvoyant or something? When you do the same thing that many times, even an idiot would know what's going on. Do you... Do you know this person? I'm sorry to ask this, but can I get you to pay the repair costs? Fine, but I'll need you to write it off as a business expense. How much? Let's see. The decorative clock and the repairs together are 2,000 Mira. Hold on. I can understand the repairs, but what's the deal with the decorative clock? Well, I was looking around the store while he was doing the repairs, and I saw a pretty clock, and when I picked it up, it broke. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, no, also, I... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I forgot I, I left the screen capture on top of everything. Hold on. <laughs> Let me replay that so it'll actually show up. There you go. Thanks, Grezzy, for resubscribing for four months. Crazy how time flies when you're watching one of the coolest people make great content. Kudos, babe. Here's to many more months. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. I'll have to make sure next time you stream, I'll have to make sure that I'm I'm still subscribed. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna put hearts in the chat too. Whoops, wait, no, wait, I did the angry face, hold on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see, so Dorothy just picked up a clock and it just broke. You know, just on its own. <laughs> wait. <laughs> but I'm glad we can write it off as a business expense. How wonderful is that? That kind of amount is not going to be covered. Crap, it looks like I'm going to have to pay out of my own pocket and get my money back later. Here's your 2000 Mira. And this is your receipt. This is an unbelievably awkward combination if I've ever seen one. No doubt about that. But the fact that he'll pay out of his pocket for someone means he's probably pretty nice to work under. Sorry to keep you waiting, kids. Had to take care of a little trouble. Who are these kids, Neil? They're the Bracers, who will be acting as our escorts and guides. Uh, they'll be taking the place of Cassius Bray, with whom we'd originally made arrangements. These young kids are... I'm Estelle, it's nice to meet you. And I'm Joshua. So it's Estelle and Joshua, is it? You may be young, but you seem reliable. I'm Dorothy Hyatt. I'm the new camera woman for the Liberal News. At the moment, I'm training under Neil. Why'd I get stuck babysitting this blockhead of a girl? <laughs> that damn editor-in-chief. Relax, something good will come out of all of this soon enough. <laughs> You're one to talk. Never mind, just forget it. <laughs> now that we've got everyone together, how about we go and get our story? Our destination is the Asmelis Tower, right? Alright, let's go! Right on! Yay! It's escort quest! <laughs> now let's see, okay. So I was trying to... Can I finally get... Oh yeah, okay, I can do it. Yeah, I can open it. I can finally get Joshua a second, um, a second magic thing. Um, let's see. Yeah, escort. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna need to get more water. <laughs> er, wait. Oh, wait. Is this the buy screen? Hold on. Yeah, I just want to go to my. Um, I want to go to my menu screen. Oh, escort! Woo! <laughs> Let's get our orbment. Okay, so which ones do I have? I have defense, which gives me like earth abilities. There's like attack, which is fire. There's evade and impede. Huh. Wait, impede just. Wait. Because like that increases agility. Me to get it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, only if you're like already up. I can, I can go get it later. Okay, these ones don't do anything. 
or will they, um, oh, oh, well, there's information, which is be able to perceive enemy status. Huh. Like, maybe I could, like, see their health bars and stuff. Um, oh, hi, Grezzy's here. Hi! <laughs> Hello, Varsit. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome. How are you doing, Varsit? I <laughs> also don't know why you're saying helicopter, but I, I hope you're doing okay. <laughs> Air bro. Yep. <laughs> uh, excuse me. I just got like, I got like one of those little... Eh, little scratch in my throat. Are you saying, oh, you're working out. Nice. Hmm. Let's see. So what should I do? Should I give him? Because what does um what does Estelle have? Oops. Estelle has water and fire right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, and you're, you're taking off my glasses. Oh my god. All right. Whoops. Oh no, wait. That's the wrong. Hold on. There we go. All right. Glasses are off. <laughs> There we go. Thanks for the water, Grezzy. Uh -huh. You are welcome. I appreciate it. And also thank you for gifting a sub to Varsit. That's one of our... Well, <laughs> I was going to say Varsit is... Or I don't, I don't know if she's actually drawn it, but Varsit is the husband of our um, art mama. Yeah. <laughs> Rev, that made me spill my water on myself. <laughs> Oh no, okay. It's fine. It's fine. I just have a wet shirt now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yes, Varsit is uh is uh, the husband of our our uh, art mama. Yeah, great timing. <laughs> wet shirt, no. Grezzy don't say anything. <laughs> Here, let's just give him this earth one. We can always, um... It can depend on what enemies show up in... Because we're about to go into a dungeon, it sounds like. We're basically going to do a, do some dungeon crawling. So depending on what the weaknesses of the enemies that we fight, I'll just equip him with whatever. Which is nice, you can just switch out whatever spells you want to have. It's like right now, because I was fighting stuff that was weak to like water and fire. Okay. I need more accessories. I think, yeah, um, Josh doesn't have any accessories on. Let me see if I can get some. <laughs> um, is there anything else? Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I just took a sip. I'll take another. Got some, some ice water. Whoops. Cause, I mean, actually, I mean... Yeah, I can't unlock any more slots for them right now. So let's take a lot of Sepith. And this is for, like, buying stuff? That one's Element Space. Oh, and I can afford that, too. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. I can take a look at that. What, what like, spells do we get from that one? Or do we even get any? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't teach you any spells. It just has the. Um, it cuts the cost of uh, of arts. Okay. We'll just keep the earth one on for now. Let's see. Um, which one is the? Hold on. Let me rotate the camera. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let me make sure we. <laughs> we are off. <laughs> You love that one, don't you, Grassy? <laughs> You're like always waiting for the opportunity to play that. I think they have the best stuff that's in the shop right now. You do? <laughs> prevents sleep, prevents blind, and prevents poison. Okay. Oh, and we already have the one that prevents blind. Wow. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna buy this one that prevents poison, and this one prevents sleep. So if we encounter enemies that do poison or sleep, we'll, we'll have those. You're waiting for me to leave the room? <laughs> oh, to leave that room, I see. <laughs> Okay, we're going! Yay! We are off! I think it was this way, right? Yeah, because it was on the road. To, the road to the mine splits off. Oh, hi! <laughs> I, set up, I, have not, I have not set up stream avatars yet. Um, oh, great. Yeah, we really do have to escort these guys because they show up in the battle screen. <laughs> so, that's great. Um, I have not set it up. So, yeah, I did... Um, because I got some Steam gift cards for Christmas. Um, and so I bought a stream avatar, so I'll try and get that set up. Yeah, protect. We must protect and attack. Um, so yeah, I want to... Yeah, <laughs> yes, one of the Steam gift cards was from you, thank you. Oh, she got a bonus to critical. Great. <laughs> Great for her. Um, yes. So I definitely want to get that set up, then we can have the little, uh, have some, like, Pokemon or something running around on the bottom of the screen. Because <laughs> I, I always love when people have stream avatars. I think it's, I think it's really cool. So I'm glad I got it set up. Wow, we got two experience points. Great. <laughs> yep. Right there, cute. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Let's see if we can avoid getting bum rushed by any more low level enemies. <laughs> Yep, okay, it was this little road over here. Er, wait. Oh wait, that way's a dead end. I don't think I've been- have I been down this way? There's probably like a treasure chest. Oh yeah, I have been down this way. You should get them too. Yeah, they're not, um, it's on sale right now on Steam. If you want to get, uh, stream avatars. It's- it's a- it's on- it's in the- the Steam sale. And it's not too expensive in the first place, either. I think it's normally just like 15 bucks. What just happened? <laughs> oh, did she use it? Oh, I think she like, used her camera and like, blinded him. Okay, that's nice. Wait, really? About which part? The, um, the stream avatars? Yeah, yeah, you get it on, uh, Steam and it's not too expensive. Yay, two experience points. Oh, we got beast flesh. <laughs> Great. Love some beast flesh. <laughs> yeah, it's on sale. It's a, it's a little bit cheaper than normal. Go ahead and finish this one off. Do, 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 do. Enjoy this jazzy music. Joshua! <laughs> there you go. That's more like it. He made up for missing by killing him in one hit. <laughs> Good job beating that flying cat. <laughs> Oh. Victory! I mean, it was, it was almost on time. It was just a little bit early. <laughs> Were you trying to, like, time it <laughs> to match up with the end of the fight? It sounds it's hard to figure out uh, exactly how long the delay is. <laughs> you tried. An effort was made. This tower is really tall. I mean, yeah, towers usually are. It's kind of like their whole thing. <laughs> I wonder how many floors it has. The last time we were here, we only made it as far as the second floor. 
But judging from the scale, I'd say it probably has about five or six. There should be five. At least that's what it said in a book at home. It was investigated some time ago, but it looks like it was abandoned after that. That reminds me, it seems like there are a number of other towers like this in La Barrel. That's correct. There are towers similar to this one in the Bose, Rouen, and Zeiss regions. I wonder if we'll have to go visit all the towers throughout the game. <laughs> They all seem to have been built around the time that the Liberal Kingdom was founded. Is that so? I think I'm starting to feel the history already. My job this time is to uncover the truth about them. Oh yeah, I bet, I bet that's what's going to kick off the plot, finally. <laughs> Six hours in. <laughs> Dorothy, get me a few long angle shots of this place. Sure. Here we go. Amazing. Is a photographer's personality supposed to change by taking a camera in their hands like that? What? <laughs> she certainly looks like a pro. Did... she fall asleep? <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Squadala, we are off! <laughs> <laughs> Was that worth it? <laughs> Squadala, we're off. Ow, that really hurts, Neil. This happens every time you try to take a picture like that. Quit trying to act professional and just get me a shot using your usual style. I guess I shouldn't try to tone down my style just to look good. Well, I guess I'll have to do it in my own way. Is she gonna do like a weird pose or something? Oh, looking good, looking good. Now that's what I call sexy and cute. Excuse me? <laughs> the tower? <laughs> the tower is looking sexy and cute. Here we go, say cheese. What? <laughs> I don't get it. Why is she doing that when she's not taking photos of a person? Somehow it seems natural for her. She says that she can see the expression of the scenery, whatever that's supposed to mean. And believe it or not, she takes some pretty breathtaking pictures acting all ridiculous like that. I guess it could be considered a type of genius, the kind that's borderline insane though. Wow, people are sure never what they seem to be. Okay, I'm all done here. Alright then, let's get inside. We're headed for the roof, I'm counting on you two greenhorns. You just leave it to us. We won't let any monsters lay a single paw on you. Uh, please make sure to keep close behind us. <laughs> it's one sexy tower, says Grezzy. I mean, it is a cool tower. It's got like trees inside it and everything. So fancy. All right, well, nothing on the... <laughs> Should go by pretty quick. Oh, oh no, monsters. What even are those? Oh, they're the uh, snails. Okay. Alright. What do we know about these things? <laughs> oh, okay, fire is effective against them. Okay. Um, Estelle has fire moves, so... Well, it's a great job, Josh. <laughs> no! <laughs> At least getting hit doesn't, like, interrupt you when you're spellcasting. That would be a pain. Ooh, nice, yeah. Okay, so Firebolt gets them all one hit. Oh, okay. I mean, they're not that tough anyway. I would have thought that they would have, like, a lot of, like, defense or something, because they have the shells. Oh, nice. Yeah, she blinded one <laughs> with her camera. That's nice. Here, can you... Wait. Ah, uh, they're too far away, actually, for her to, for her to melee them. Okay, so we'll, we'll do some more fire. There you go. Hey. 
snails defeated. <laughs> We're good to go. Give me the XP. Give me the Sabbath. Monster Carapace. Heck yeah. Oh, okay, so we can go this way. Huh. Huh. I see. I see, I see. Okay, yeah, and this is just back. Oh, no. Oh, there's another snail. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Ah. Oh, what the heck is that? I can't even... <laughs> what? It's like a flying snake with, like, a tentacle? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fly skipper. Okay, sure. It resists wind. It's not really vulnerable to anything. <laughs> yeah, we can just hit it. <laughs> oh, it drains health. I don't like that. That's rude. You're right. Use your finishing move. Here, I come. Here she comes. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Well, only two experience points. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> hi, snails. Alright, we can just use his finishing move. Just get one on one hit, hopefully. Very nice. Yep, you just run away. <laughs> Alright, give him give him a stabby stab. <laughs> Smack him. Pizza cake. Pizza cake. We're getting kind of close to the next level. Uh, let's see. So, well, we can get to the middle now. Oh. <laughs> There's so many snails in here. Oh, what the heck are those? Palm. <laughs> okay. Don't know what that does. Hey, what are my... Well, I don't have enough points for this. Wait. Huh. As you have, you just have the stone one. Drops a large boulder. That's a nice boulder. Let's hit the palm. Alright, well, I <laughs> got it one hit. Uh, should I keep using Firebolt? Probably. Yeah, actually, yeah, geez, that actually hit for a lot. <laughs> Thanks for blinding it. I'm about to kill it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely will need to heal Josh after this. You look simply marvelous. <laughs> oh, still. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's seal Josh up. <laughs> er, there we go. Okay. Okay, here's the way up. I mean, did I miss any treasure chests? Don't want to miss the treasure chest, come on. 
You're not a true RPG player unless you get every treasure chest. <laughs> Hot take. Oh, hi, snails. With the palms again. <laughs> Will we ever find out what the palms do? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not in this fight. I'm, tr I'm gonna try and save some, uh... EP. Just rely on my regular attacks. Hey, the blind actually came in handy. <laughs> Where's the one that's injured? Finish him off. Oh yeah, I gotta remember, I do have my, uh... My crafts. She has taunt. <laughs> and she has a strength buff. Eh. And then he has um, dual strike. You can use one of those. Maybe that'll take that out of one hit. Yeah. See, she's more useful than the guy. <laughs> she's more useful than the reporter guy. All he does is run away. <laughs> Ooh, very close to the next level. Alright, alright. Alright, oh, oh. There's a, actually a room in here. Oh no! <laughs> no! We got ambushed. Ow. Ow. No, they're hitting my- they're hitting my escorts! Ah. Wait, is he- okay, I was like, does he have like 1 HP left? I hate when that happens. Ah, I missed. Oof. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if we can get this guy. Very good. Get these weird fish things. This battle music is a bop. It is. Yeah, this game has a good soundtrack. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think because our HP got low, it changes the, the, the fight music. <laughs> All right. We're good to go. Yeah, it is just very, it's got, it's like very like jazzy. Okay, I still leveled up. I still learned Hurricane. That sounds nice. <laughs> that sounds fun. I wonder if that's like an AoE. Like, does she just spin around? We gotta, we gotta heal up Josh. <laughs> yeah, what is her, um... Can I check her abilities? Maybe, maybe, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, also maybe... Well, I haven't actually seen any of the status effects. I haven't seen any poison or sleep. And here, Josh, you can uh, have those just in case. <laughs> No, I can't, like, actually look at what the crafts do, but we'll see when we get into the fight. Uh, do we need to go? Th I don't actually- <laughs> I don't know which way I need to go. Ooh, chest. Good thing I came back here. Knitted shoes? Hold on, tell me about the knitted shoes. <laughs> uh, defense 7, movement 1. Compared to my spiky shoes, which are defense 5. Okay. Who gets hit more? I feel like Josh gets hit more, so I'll give him the improved armor. Oh yeah, also, okay, one thing I like is all the treasure chests have, like, unique dialogue for when you, if you look at them again after you open them. You already took everything I had to offer. What more do you want? <laughs> My favorite one I found said, like, um, the, the treasure chest only contains disappointment. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, that's some, that's some like Undertale stuff right there. <laughs> God, I really wish, like, I had a map of the dungeon. Because <laughs> I'm like, where are the stairs? Okay, that's where I came from. So yes, so we need to go through this middle section. Find some stairs up. Oh, they're there. Huh. Well, wait, now I'm curious. Oh, there's a chest. We gotta get it. Gotta get it. Gotta have it. Are you gonna chase me? No, no, no. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, there's another stairs up. Oh, dear. Oh, well, hi. <laughs> I just ran right into it. All right, you weird fish things. Let's get a dual strike on him. Gonna go to sleep, Rev. Alrighty, you have a good night, too. Thanks for coming. Thanks for resubbing. Always good to see you. Wait, is that guy still alive? Oh my god, he has two HP. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, Hurricane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we just choose the point where we're gonna stand and do it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fine, this is my first AoE move, too. Let's do the double strike. Do do do. That's that. Let's move out. Yeah, he, uh, Joshua should be catching up in level soon. Got a fish fillet. Okay, they must be fish then. Oh, here we can actually look at. There's um. Descriptions of the enemies: fly skipper, a larva monster living underground, leeches HP from its prey. Okay. Well, now we know. Found tear bomb. Okay, that's just a healing potion. What about this way? Nothing. So what's up with these stairs? So we have multiple stairs going up. Okay. Oh, can I go past you? No. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of them. Just smack him. Do 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 Piece of cake. What do we got? Monsters appeared. No <laughs> Rude What the heck? What even are these? Oh and they got special music Robber Trapper Robber Trapper I have not encountered these yet. Okay, well, let's do a double strike on him. Ooh, okay, they have pretty high defense, huh? Okay, all right, all right, all right. So let, me, let me just check. They don't really have any elemental resistances or weaknesses. So we'll just try something on him. Let's try some fire. Yeah, there isn't really any difference. All right. We'll see how magic works on him. Oh. <laughs> Can you blind him for me? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> They're all using magic. <laughs> okay, that did better than the physical attack, at least. Yeah. No, 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 no! Not on him! <laughs> Ow. Alright, now here's the third one. Oh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I do have, yeah, I have like soul blur. So I'm going to. Okay, Estelle is coming up before the enemies, so let me try his thing. I like this music at least. Should she heal herself or should she attack? I feel like I should attack. Let's do that. Okay, let's see how his time stuff. Okay, yeah. Didn't get him one hit, but... 
and get him in one more hit. Oh, her uh, finishing move is ready. Oh no, they explode when they die. Okay. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> okay. So I probably don't even... If I use her finishing move, would that make her get in range of him? I don't think that you actually move when you use it. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. Nice. Okay, he's gonna explode. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll just use some magic on him. Oh boy. Oh no, oh god. <laughs> I wonder what even happened. Like, would I just, like, get a game over if my, uh... The people I'm escorting die. Okay, we should we should be able to take him out now. We drop a s stone hammer on him. Nice. Oh my god, he has like two like <laughs> no, <laughs> he's almost dead. Come on. <laughs> oh, at least she healed. One. Can you just cast that real fast? Yes, she did. Nice. Ooh. Jeez, those things were tough. Ooh. Hey, Joshua leveled up. Hey, we got a lot of stuff. Got a lot of magic upgrades. Got a tin staff. <laughs> okay, what does this one say? Apparently someone already looted this chest. Now, who could that be? I don't know. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, we do need to heal Estelle. Give her a tear. And then we got a new staff. So let's see how that compares. Strength plus 10, range plus 1. Okay, yeah, strength. So we'll get a little more strength. Cool. Very nice. <laughs> okay, and that's all. Okay, so we need to find. We need to go up those other stairs. Oh, that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> huh? Huh? Wait, I'm gonna let you. Gurgus! <laughs> Hi, Crowen. I was trying not to interrupt you this time. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. Oh, uh, let's see. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. It's okay, that's our thing. Wait, wait, what? Like Team Rocket. <laughs> I'm doing great. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Got home from work. It's funny because of our, the way our schedule worked is that we had Christmas Eve and Christmas off because we requested it. Um, and then we work today, and then we have Monday and Tuesday off because that's our regular, uh, that's our weekend is Monday and Tuesday. So we just work today, and then we have Monday and Tuesday off. <laughs> so that's nice. And you're doing well, that's great. Fantastic. I'm just beating up some weird flying fish things. <laughs> yeah, right? It's like we basically had a four-day weekend just with one one little workday in the middle. <laughs> Forbidden weekend. <laughs> okay, hold on. We are we are doing some dungeon dungeoneering. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh no wait, I can't go. No no no! Oh he was chasing me! <laughs> he got me. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, we're kind of doing a bit of an escort quest. We got a reporter and his camera woman uh, with us. Let's beat up these weird fish. Oh, 
Wow, he got strength up. Great. <laughs> he doesn't do any attacks, so... <laughs> At least they always, um, the, the people we're escorting always heal at the end of the battle, so we don't have to worry about, like, using items on them or anything. Oh, wait, why did I do that? I should have done the dual strike. <laughs> okay, Estelle can finish him off. I do like, sometimes the camera woman, um, she uses her camera to, like, blind the enemies. So at least she's somewhat useful. The reporter doesn't do anything. <laughs> That's that then. Let's move out. Do you be liking the music? Yeah, yeah, I like the fight music. I like this regular one, and then there's a couple different like um special like fight soundtracks as well for like tough fights. Okay, so I'm gonna go up here. Camera woman, I thought you meant the person controlling the game camera. No, no, no. <laughs> the actual camera woman in the, uh, in the game. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy? It's like a, a lucky two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. Right as I said that, I, I saw it in the chat. See, but did you ever think it was weird how, um, also that's a lot, there's five enemies, okay. <laughs> Could just run. <laughs> I just don't feel like fighting them. Uh, it was a big little, little courtyard. But did you ever think it was weird in Super Mario 64? Like, there's the part, like, it's at the beginning, right, where, um, um, you, like, there's a camera looking at Locky 2 holding the camera. So who's holding the second camera? Is it there's an is there another Locky 2 looking at the Locky 2? <laughs> it's just Locky 2 is all the way down. Wow, it's bright out here. It looks like we finally made it to the rooftop. Would you look at the beautiful scenery? <laughs> no. <laughs> yep, this Locky Two's looking at Locky Two's. Now this is something else. It looks like we'll be able to get a better shot than I had originally anticipated. And that's the thing I was telling you about earlier. Th you didn't tell us anything about this. <laughs> I wonder what that's supposed to be exactly. Looks like a giant orbment operated cauldron if you ask me. Always has been. <laughs> According to my sources, it's some sort of ancient device. Although nobody seems to know what exactly it's used for. Hmm. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> hey Joshua, did you know something like this was up here? Joshua? It's no use hiding. What? I think it would be wise to come out where we can see you. Oh, okay. Oh, you're looking already. Huh? Please don't hurt me. I'll come out already. I'm coming out right now. <laughs> Who is this guy? So somebody arrived before we did, huh? What a surprise that was. Nice find, Joshua. And you are... The spectacled man. I apologize. Please forgive me. That's also me, spectacled man. Oh, here, I'm gonna. I have my glasses off for a while. I'm putting them back on. <laughs> Please forgive me. I'll give you every last mirror I have. Please spare my life. <laughs> <clears throat> Look here, buddy. Please don't mistake us for robbers or something weird. You do recognize this emblem, don't you? Her guild emblem. Wait, isn't that the Bracers Guild? So you're trying to tell me that you're Bracers? In the flesh. I'm Estelle and this is Joshua. And we're here as reporters from the blah blah the blah, 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 blah news. We're having these two provide our escort so we can get coverage on the tower. I'm relieved to hear that. Please, just don't ever scare me like that again. The fact that you came up here like that made me suspicious of you all. <laughs> 
Look who's talking, you seem like quite the suspicious fellow yourself. Do you mind telling us who you are exactly? I apologize for my belated introduction. My name is Alba, and I am an archaeologist. <laughs> hey, I just played a game <laughs> called Alba. <laughs> I came to investigate the tower in order to further my research of ancient civilizations. All alone? I'm surprised you made it here in one piece. <laughs> somewhat. But actually, I've grown, I've grown accustomed to investigating ruins like these. You see, I've got a lot of confidence in my ability to flee from monsters if need be. <laughs> I have confidence in my ability to run away. Although this time I found myself in a bit of a pickle. You're one crazy scholar, if you ask me. However, being an archaeologist would mean that you're familiar with the tower's origins, right? Well, more than the average person, anyway. But since I have only just begun my investigation, there are still a lot of things I don't know myself. That's fine, but is there anything interesting you could tell us about this place? It'll be used for an article. Let's see. Has everyone heard of the Septarians before? I think Father Divine maybe said something about that before. You mean the seven treasures endowed with power and bestowed upon the ancients by Eidios, right? <laughs> yeah, those. That's exactly what I'm referring to. It seems these ancients ruled the earth, seas, and skies using the powers of these treasures. It has also been written that they were even able to unlock the secrets of time and life. Approximately 1,200 years ago, when this ancient civilization was destroyed by a mysterious calamity, these Septarians were also lost. That is the legend also recorded in the scriptures of the Septian Church. But what does that have to do with the tower? Part of the legend states that one of these Septarians slumbers somewhere within the barrel. Its name, the Oriole. <laughs> the Oriole. The word certainly has a strange ring to it. If the legend is really true, I figured I might be able to find some clues here at the tower since it's one of the oldest ruins in all of Libero. So I came out to investigate. Ah, what an inspiring story. It is, isn't it? You can feel my passion for things of antiquity, antiquity right? This is splendid. I am overjoyed that there is someone else who understands the way I feel. <laughs> so did you find any of those clues you were looking for? I'm still working on that part, but if I can figure out how this device works, I might be onto something. I think it's an interesting story, but as it stands, it's a speculative one. From what you've told me, I'm sorry to say, it wouldn't fly as an article. <laughs> I see, that's extremely disappointing to hear. I'm surprised myself. Contrary to my expectations, you are serious about the articles you write. <laughs> that's because I can't write articles based on uncertain news sources. We may run the occasional gossip column, but it's the policy of the liberal news to verify our information. That aside, let's get what we came here for, shall we? Dorothy, I want you to get several panorama shots of the Roland region. Everything else I'll leave up to your aesthetic touch. Now get out there and get me some good pictures of Spider-Man. Understood. Your apprentice Dorothy Hyatt is ready for action. And as for you, Mr. Mr. Archaeologist, how about heading back to town with us when we're done here? These two kids may look like a couple of brats, but they do a pretty fine job as escorts. <laughs> Something about the way you said that makes me feel like it wasn't a compliment. If it's alright with you to have me along, then that's far more than I could ask for. Then I guess it's decided. So how about we take a break until Dorothy finishes getting her shots? have a picnic on top of the giant magic tower. <laughs> wow, the view is great from here. <laughs> from this height, I can see all of Roland. With scenery this good, if someone turned this place into a tourist spot, they'd probably make a boatload of Mira. Yeah, you're probably right about that. What's wrong? You look a little pale. I can't hide anything from you, can I? After we stepped onto the roof, I just started feeling a little woozy. Are you going to be okay? 
Yeah, I think I'll be all right once I get a bit of fresh air. I mean... <laughs> Aren't you getting fresh air right now? <laughs> Why don't you make the best of this opportunity and have a look around yourself? But broadening one's knowledge during a time like this is all a part of being a bracer. If you come across anything of interest, then you can tell me about it later, alright? Sometimes you can be such a smooth talker, you know that? Alright, I'll have a look around. But if you start feeling any worse, you let me know, okay? Sure. Alright. Just take a look around. What's up? Oh, Estelle, this place is wonderful, isn't it? I'm even starting to wonder if the number of photo courts is going to be enough. The scenery sure is great, like you say. By the way, what's a photo quartz? It's an ultra-thin crystal circuit fabricated from septium. It's set up so that you can take a photograph by burning it with light. That's just what I'd expect from a camera woman, someone who knows the tools of the trade. Teehee. That reminds me. What's the deal with Joshua? Well, he says he's getting some fresh air. A raven-haired young man standing silently in the flowing breeze. <laughs> I think I could take a really good picture with that kind of a setting. Do you think he'd let me snap a shot of him if I asked? He doesn't seem to be a fan of that kind of stuff. I think he'd probably turn you down. Aw, oh, what a waste. He's probably just shy, right? Oh man, the taste of a cigarette is wonderful. <laughs> At first I wasn't in the mood to come do a story in a rural place like Rolent, but... Sometimes these types of places aren't so bad. If you want to be rude like that, then maybe you shouldn't have come at all. <laughs> no can do, this was a direct order from the editor-in-chief to teach that blockhead girl a thing or two. Otherwise I'd be all over the kingdom searching for the latest scoop right now. When you say scoop, don't you just mean gossip for your next article? Not that I have anything against gossip, but reportage is predominantly greater. And in that sense, the place that has my interest peaked is Bose. The Bose region? Did something happen there? A number of large burglaries have taken place one after another. Ah, some kind of phantom thief. The identity of the criminals is unknown, but it seems as though the group has got a pair of wings. Wings? Oh, an airship? What are they, sky bandits or something? That seems to be the most logical conclusion. But there's also the possibility that this could be an imitative deception by the Erebonian Empire. I had to think about how to read that. <laughs> imitative deception. What? That's impossible. We're supposed to have a peace treaty with them. Sure, but the Empire incurred some heavy losses during the war ten years ago. They can't do much now that every other nation on the continent has their eye on them, but it could be a way to get back at us. That said, nobody really knows for sure. Which is why our job as reporters is to bring these things to light. Alright, what about this thing? Oh, hi there, Estelle, was it? Is your partner feeling alright? Yeah, he said he just wants to get a bit of fresh air. I see, there's certainly a nice breeze up here, isn't there? I wanted to say, however, that I'm, I'm impressed that the both of you are bracers at such a young age. If I remember correctly, one must be at least 16 years of age to qualify to become a bracer, right? You sure know your stuff. And that's right, I'm exactly 16 myself. How nice it is to be young. There are limitless possibilities at that age. If I were about 10 years younger, I'd solve the mysteries of all these ancient ruins across the entire continent with these very hands. The entire continent, huh? That's a pretty tall order. Which means that you're not from Liberal, right? No, I was born in the north. But just for the record, I'm not from Erebonia. Haha, <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Although I hate war with a passion, that hatred isn't directed at the people of the Empire. You lost someone dear to you? Yeah, my mother. I'm sorry, I didn't mean I didn't mean to bring up any painful memories. It's okay, it happened more than ten years ago. And since then, there's been a new addition to the family. Oh, you mean that boy over there? Yeah, he's like a little brother. Although he's probably trying to act more like an older brother. Haha. <laughs> I wonder why I'm telling you all of this. Usually this isn't the kind of thing a person tells others. It's perfectly fine. Aren't good relations such a wonderful thing? Yes, I also love to communicate with fellow humans. <laughs> Are you still feeling sick, Joshua? 
No, I'm much better. I should be good to head back when, whenever everybody's ready. I'm relieved to hear that. What brought this all on, anyway? I doubt it was a lack of oxygen in the tower, because the rest of us are alright. Maybe it was a sudden fear of heights? I don't think so. Estelle, Joshua... Are you finished taking pictures? You bet I am, and I got a lot of good ones, too. Then it looks like we're done here. How about we head back to town? Alright, Greenhorns, lead the way. I'm counting on you, children. Do we just have to go back down through the tower? No, okay, we just we teleported. <laughs> Thank you so much for escorting me back here off screen. This is the first time I've ever been able to make it back from some ruins without being chased or bitten or... I don't know how to begin to express my appreciation. You don't need to thank us, it's our duty as bracers. I think you'd be better off hiring some bracers to begin with next time you go off to investigate some ruins. My head says yes, but my wallet says no. <laughs> I'll try and save up a bit though. We'll have a wonderful day and I hope we can all meet again. I think it's about time we said goodbye as well. I was a bit nervous at first, but you kids did a fine job. There were a couple fights where <laughs> I got close to dying. <laughs> Let me just say thank you to the both of you. That's what I like to call raw skill. <laughs> Look at her smug face. <laughs> now don't get all cocky on me. The bracers I know would make you two look like little fledglings, not ready to leave the nest. You're going to need, you're going to, need to work harder. I'll try to remember that. So are the two of you headed back to the company soon? Nah, we're going to spend a day or so relaxing here in Rolent. I need to write up a rough draft for some articles and such. I'll head over to the Orbal factory and get these photographs developed. Take it easy, you two. I guess this is the last of the jobs we got from Dad. They were much tougher than I thought they'd be. I agree with you there. I feel like I have a greater awareness now about what it means to be a bracer. It's not just about fighting for justice. It's about fighting for money. <laughs> there you go again, saying all the right things. But yeah, I guess I get where you're coming from. It seems like we've got a long road ahead of us, if we want to succeed in this profession. For the time being, why don't we report to the guild? This sounds like a good idea. Oh, but before we go, how are you doing? Still not feeling well? Thanks for asking, but I'm feeling a lot better. Well, that's good. Let's go get our reward! Er, wait. I went past it. Yes, here. Go in. <laughs> I don't feel like rotating the camera. Somebody's here. Oh, it's a... Sherizard. Sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> go, Sherizard! Oh, Estelle and Joshua. Sheriff, what are you doing here? This is a rare occasion, you're usually out and about. I just finished the jobs I took over for your father, and I was reporting to the guild. So you finished your load too, huh? Somehow or other, I guess. I heard from Ina that you guys aren't doing too bad yourselves. I guess everything I went through to train the two of you amounted to something. <laughs> we're grateful too. Well, I guess we'll report in as well, then. Go ahead, let's hear what you've got. Yay! Good work, you two. How about you, Sherizard? Don't you think you they've done a fine job? For a bunch of newbies, you did an average job. <laughs> but you shouldn't be satisfied with that level of work. <laughs> wow. Especially you, Estelle. You're always the first to get on that high horse of yours. Wow. <laughs> Calling her out. Okay, okay, I get it already. <laughs> Great work, all of you. I'm surprised that we were able to fill the work gap left by Ga Cassius so quickly. I almost said Gaseous. <laughs> I wonder if we'll be able to relax for a bit. <laughs> Do you think, you think when Cassius was a kid and like he would fart, people would be like, more like Gaseous. <laughs> I don't know, I can imagine that the downtime might be a bit of a drag. Well, that won't be a problem, since there are plenty of other small jobs like patrolling the roads and exterminating monsters. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to take a break. 
All right, it's time for my reward. I'm gonna drink until I can't drink anymore tonight. <laughs> Estelle, Joshua, you two join me as well. Uh, we have to watch you get plastered and make a fool of yourself. Oh, so what you're saying is that you're turning down my invitation? You've got a lot of nerve to do something like that to your mentor. What am I supposed to say? Your drinking habits are intolerable. <laughs> Look, this is an intervention. <laughs> You cause a ruckus, dance like a maniac, and try to strip in public. <laughs> Agreed, it's pretty embarrassing. Sherizard, just where do you think you're going to take these underage kids? Come on, the alcohol is what makes things interest entertaining. <laughs> but if you're so against coming along with me, then I don't need you, Estelle. Really? Yep. Oh dear. Instead I'll just have Joshua make up for your absence. <laughs> Why me? Uh, Shara? Now hold on a minute. Joshua, you look like you'll make a fine companion. Whether we're talking booze or something else behind closed door- Whoa, jeez. <laughs> I'll break you in. <laughs> oh dear. Break me in. <laughs> Alright, you big pervert, Joshua. Why are you drooling like that? It's not what you think. We've got a major problem of- <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Mayor Klaus. Wee's cough pant. Still Joshua and Sherizard. Sherizard, you're under arrest. Joshua's 16. <laughs> I'm gl am I glad to see you? Saved by the bell. What's wrong, sir, and why are you in such a hurry? This is terrible. My home, disaster, it's gone. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, he made a whole show of like, I'm gonna put this fancy crystal in my safe and no one will steal it. I, I knew somebody was gonna steal it. <laughs> what? All right, calm down, Mayor Klaus. Take a deep breath and let it out. Uh, so <laughs> Apparently, it seems as though my home was robbed while I was out. What? That's not being calm at all. Calm at all, Estelle. Well, thanks for the hydrate. <clears throat> I had something to speak with Father Divine about, so I was over at the chapel and... When I came home, it was rather odd for no one to greet me at the door. So I looked around and the rooms were in a state of great disarray. Wait, what about your wife and Lita? Don't worry, they're both fine. I found them locked up in the attic room. Oh, jeez. That's a relief to hear. It's lucky that no harm came to anyone. It won't get us anywhere just sitting around here. So could you take us to the crime scene, Mayor Klaus? Absolutely. I appreciate your cooperation. Oh, well, we're detectives now. Wait for me. I'm going too. Good idea. We may be able to be of some help. Well, if you insist. Ina will be at the mayor's place invest investigating the incident. If you have anything come up, just toss it on Ridge's shoulders. I'm sure he's just relaxing at the bar anyway. Yes, I'll do that, and careful everyone. Oh my. Wow, this place is an absolute mess. The crooks really tore through here. Look at the safe! The septium which was supposed to be given to Her Majesty the Queen has been stolen. I'm really sorry, especially after having you go to all the trouble to bring it here. It's not you who should be apologizing, it's the crooks who are in the wrong. By the way, how are the other rooms in the house? The other rooms, for the most part, appear to have been left untouched. They're about as messy as the attic room in which my wife and Lita were locked up in. Hmm. Estelle, Joshua, there's something I want you to do. Which is? I'll speak with the mayor about the incident. I want you two to check out the inside of the house. You mean like an on-site investigation? Are you sure we're up to the task? Since we're all here, splitting up would be the best way to cover the most ground, no? Alright, we'll see what we can do. Proceed carefully and deliberately. Alright, Mayor Klaus, how about we talk in the parlor? Sure, now where to begin? An on-site investigation, huh? I'm starting to get butterflies in my stomach. How about we start from this room? And let's not forget to ask for witness statements from the other residents. 
Sounds like a plan. All right, detective time. The gift that we delivered to the mayor for the queen is... Those crooks are not going to get away with this. It doesn't look like they jimmied the door either. They must have decrypted the combination and opened it, or... Could they really have cracked the combination? It's not impossible, but I imagine that it'd be difficult for anyone besides a skilled pro. My best guess is that they figured out the combination using a much simpler means. What do you mean by simpler means? Well, let's see. They could have, for example, dusted the buttons with a special powder. A powder like that would have absorbed absorptive properties, and due to its fineness would be invisible to the naked eye. However, if a blue light were placed over it, it would glow. We're getting C CSI up in here. <laughs> Gonna dust for prints. All right, and... Now let's imagine for a minute that the mayor entered the combination with the powder present. The powder on the buttons would stick to his fingers and come off. This would be one way to know which buttons were pressed. Now wait a minute, wouldn't they still not know the order in which the buttons were pressed? That's not exactly the case. As the powder- He sure knows a lot about this. <laughs> Joshua, why do you know so much about this? As the powder collected on the fingers increased, the amount taken from the buttons would decrease. In other words, the crooks would press the buttons in order, starting from the least luminescent. It might be a little more difficult if there were duplicate numbers, but the crooks should be able to make a pretty good guess as to what they are. That makes sense. Joshua, are you a genius or something? That's just basic knowledge. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> anyway, let's check out the buttons. Just as I thought, powder was used. Now there's no doubt in my mind that the save was opened using the same method I just explained. What are you, are you like freaking Detective Conan up in here? You Sherlock holmes -ing up in here? Oh, right. Now the big question is, who dusted the buttons with the powder? We know it would have to at least be someone who visited the residence. Right. Now, now figuring out who that is, that's going to be the tricky part. I mean, there was that, um... There was that girl that was visiting. This pot's been tipped over, but there's nothing inside. Looks like it only tipped over after being hit by something with force. Hmm. It's just like the mayor to have a ton of difficult books like this. It looks like he's got some valuable antique books here as well. The criminals either had no idea about the value of the books, or... They were just here for the crystal. This is just a clutter box, right? It's empty as well. The box lock looks like it was burned off. The criminals may have used an Orville gun. Huh. It's just like- oh, this is the same. Yeah. This place is all torn apart. Lita would probably faint if she saw this. It looks like all the books on the shelf have been scattered about the room. It seems kind of senseless to have done all this. Yeah. Okay. There's a little balcony, but there's nothing out here. Okay, I think we've investigated everything in that room. Hello, Maximoff. <laughs> what is that emote? <laughs> Pepe riding a, a, a duck. This room is fine. I had such a scare. I was cleaning up the attic when suddenly a bunch of masked men came barging in. Masked men, huh? That means this wasn't a one-man job. How many people were in the group? Hmm, I'd probably guess about three or four. Well, that reminds me, one of them was short. It might have even been a girl. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling like that girl is probably a thief. <laughs> Are you alright, ma'am? Yes, I'm fine. The intruders weren't violent toward us. Is there anything you noticed in particular about the intruders? They were wearing masks, so I wouldn't be able to tell you about any specific features. That reminds me, I'm certain the front door was locked. I locked the door just to be safe, since my husband had, had gone to the chapel, and there were just the two of us here. The Maximoff guy <laughs> says, Mommy, I dropped my crime kit. Are you happy with yourself? <laughs> 
<laughs> I wonder how in the world they got in. Uh, see, I mean, they, um, the reporter was talking about uh, there were some burglars that used like an airship. <laughs> so I bet that was it. You're, you are, you're happy with yourself. Well, I'm glad. Oh, here's a leaf. Huh? What's this? Found Cerves leaf. Don't you think it's a bit strange for a leaf to be in a place like this? On top of that, it's not a type that grows around here. You're sharp, Estelle. This is the place where the residents were locked up. It was probably dropped by one of the criminals as they were locking everybody up. So it's a key piece of material evidence, right? Hell yeah. Evidence. Getting, getting, uh, Ace Attorney up in here. Are you really done investigating? It seems a little too quick to me. <laughs> How about looking around a little more carefully? I'm sure there's something you've missed, yeah. Check the kitchen. Hmm. I'm not noticing any inspection areas. They said that the door was locked at the time of the burglary, right? It doesn't look like the lock's been broken either. Which means they got in another way. Uh, here, hold on. Was, did we just need to see that? No. Okay. Can we talk to him? This is what things looked like when I came home. I didn't get a glimpse of the criminals either. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. Maybe we missed something in this room, because there's a lot of stuff in here. Now we looked at the bookshelf, we looked at this pot, looked at the safe, looked at the table. Here, oh, oh, here we go. There are several documents inside the drawer. They don't appear to have been disturbed. They seem to be documents regarding Roland City's government. The fact that these are as they are... Whatever. Suggest that there was no political aim involved. <laughs> I was having trouble figuring out that sentence. Okay. Okay, was that the only other thing we needed? There's nothing to really investigate in the room. We can talk to her again. When I think about the fact that I'm going to have to clean up that study, my head starts to spin. <laughs> when I get my hands on those criminals, I'm going to give them a beating like they'll never forget. <laughs> That maid has chosen violence. It looks like the intruders took off with a bunch of preserved food. Oh, I wonder if they were hungry. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. They just took food. Okay, okay, maybe now we've investigated everything. No? Huh. Okay, hold on. Let me try... Anything else in the attic that I missed? Mm. No. Let me go out on the balcony. Cause maybe, maybe there is something out here. Ooh! Yeah, there is! Look, there are some marks on the railing. You're right, and they're fresh, too. It looks like something metal dug into the wood. Oh... Okay, okay, was that the last thing we needed? That must have been it, right? Are we done now? Yay, we're done. <laughs> I had the mayor run me through all the details. How about you two? Did you find anything? Yep. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, Ray. Ray. <laughs> hey, Ray. Let's see, we're doing a little, we're doing some, some investigating. I've, I've accidentally stumbled into an Ace Attorney game. <laughs> we're looking for evidence. Let's check the details one by one and see what you've come up with. Okay, right, I'm doing good. How are you? I hope you are doing quite well tonight. Uh, first off, what were the criminals after? The Septium in the safe. How many of them were there? They said three or four. Where did they get into the house from? The terrace. Yeah. 
Point blank, what is the portrait of those thought to have committed the crime? Huh. Um, mm. Can't believe Spider-Man could save me from spoiling a surprise party. Yeah? <laughs> Sounds interesting. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but... <laughs> I guess that's good. Probably, yeah, a traveler who visited recently. That's what I'm thinking. Wow, you did a good job investigating. It looks like we'll be able to specify who the criminals are with this information. Mayor Klaus, over the past two or three days, have you had any new phases in your study? Yep, that one, that girl from the magic school. When you put it that way, I guess there's been a number of people. That reporter from the magazine company was one. Oh, so those two came to visit you too, huh? But at the time of the crime, they were with us at the Esmelis Tower. Yeah. I think we can cross them off the list of suspects. Uh, I see. So, Mayor Klaus, were there any others? Other than that, there was only Josette. <laughs> but let's not kid ourselves here. <laughs> I think it'd be a bit of a stretch for her to be our thief. She totally is, though. <laughs> After all, she's a student at the Royal Academy. Criminals aren't always dressed so, e so they can be easily spotted. As for a school uniform, if someone put their mind to it, they could create a replica. But I'm telling you, she was a really nice girl. She was modest and, cur and courteous. Right, Joshua? I'm sorry to say this, but I completely disagree. She was rude as fuck. <laughs> During that time, when the mayor put the septium into the safe, that girl's eyes lit up like a hunter's eyeing her prey. <laughs> of course, since I had no conclusive evidence, I couldn't call her out on it. But at least to me, she didn't look like any ordinary student. You must be joking. Unbelievable. At any rate, it looks like we're going to have to ask this girl a few questions. You wouldn't happen to know where she is, would you? If I remember right, she should be staying at the hotel? But she said something about taking off from Orlant sometime today. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hurry then. Uh, Estelle, Joshua, let's try the hotel first. Right. Understood. Who she joined our party? Oh, she joined our party! Hold on. Sherizard Harvey. <laughs> oh, she uses a whip. What a... Okay, she's got evade and hit... Wow, she has four orbs. Okay. Create a, creates a wind barrier. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Is she permanently in our party now? I don't know. It's like Merrick. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> kind of the hair. It's a similar hairstyle. <laughs> she could be related to him. Oh man, there's been a lot of talking. <laughs> I have to drink a lot of water. Let's go to the hotel. Let's rotate the camera so I can see the door. <laughs> Hey, do you know... Estelle, Joshua, and even Sherizard. Is something the matter? Do you remember a girl named Josette? She's a student from the Royal Academy who should be staying here. Of course I remember her, but... She checked out just a moment ago. Ah, <laughs> shoot, we're a minute too late. Let's hurry to the landing port where we might be able to catch her there. She really didn't seem like a bad girl. Huh? <laughs> See... I bet she's not gonna be at the port because she she's if she's one of the like sky pirates, she probably she just has her own airship. <laughs> please excuse the delay. The airliner should be arriving any time now, so please be patient. Context, uh you meet with a friend tomorrow. You're supposed to be your house in the evening, party's going to be at your house, he said, I'm going with my friend to watch Spider-Man again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you didn't, uh, spill the beans. <laughs> the airliner should be arriving any time now, so please be patient. 
Yo, Alan. It's us, if you haven't noticed. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, and Sherizard, too. Thank you, Ideos, for this Feast of the Eyes. Whoa, he, he must be like Sherizard. <laughs> so what's up? You didn't by any chance happen to see a girl in a school uniform around here, did you? A girl in a school uniform? A school uniform from where? From the Genius Royal Academy? Oh, baby, those uniforms are so hot. <laughs> Spidey got your back. That's good. I'm glad Spidey has your back. <laughs> Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Also, Alan, calm down. <laughs> the contrast of those... Calm down! <laughs> There's a lot of horny people in this game. The contrast of those neatly pleated white skirts and navy blue socks. Oh, yes, I can see them now. I totally forget what the boys' uniforms look like, though. <laughs> Yeah, this is one obsession I just don't get. Thus defineth man's eternal struggle. <laughs> Back on topic here. So you didn't see a girl in a Royal Academy uniform? Can I get an amen? <laughs> Bonk Alan! <laughs> Thank you for bonking Alan. Nope, not this month. And believe me, I watch for those. Creep. <laughs> <laughs> I check all the passengers boarding and disembarking, so I could tell you at least that she hasn't come here. Which means that she came to Roland along the roads without using an airliner. This complicates things. Our search field suddenly got much bigger. Come to think of it, there must be others, so they've got to be hiding somewhere. Wait, that reminds me. Didn't expect it to work. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it just uses whatever name you put in there. <laughs> What does this tell? <laughs> When's dinner? Okay, we'll present the evidence. I almost forgot that we found this. Could this be some sort of a clue? Oh right, we did find that. Shara, do you know of any places nearby where cerve cerveis trees go grow? Cerveis trees, huh? Trees? Wow, I can't read. I'm pretty certain they grow in Mistwald, south of Roland. Oh, we have a side quest there. <laughs> Mistwald, that's the forest in the opposite direction from home as Relent, right? Seems like it's worth looking into. That settles it. Let's hit up the highway through Relent's south gate. You're really excited, aren't you? You're really excited, aren't you? Well, whatever it is, good luck. Okay, Alan. Don't, don't creep on any schoolgirls, Alan. <laughs> Wait up, you're running like a crazed lunatic! Who can just walk at a time like this? Oh, it's these two. Huh, huh. Maybe I should think about cutting back on those blasted cigarettes. Yeah, you should. They're not good for you. What are the two of you up to? You kids again, huh? Actually, we've got to get to Bose ASAP. But the airliner's not even here yet. I know, that's why we're heading there on foot. It'll take some time, but it's not a distance that we can't cover by ourselves. <laughs> it's not time to think. It's time to run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, don't wear yourselves out too badly. By the way, are you after a scoop or something? Yeah, and the mother of all scoops, too. No time to talk. We've got to make it there today. Just on foot? I wonder if Neil's gonna be alright. See you later, Estelle, Joshua. Well, aren't they a lively pair? Friends of yours? Those were the reporters from one of the jobs uh, Dad asked us to take over. I wonder what's going on. Hmm. Alright, so we'll head towards our house. Do -do. We could actually stop by the house real quick, so we can get a free uh, heal. <laughs> so we can just sleep in our bed. Gotta get those free heals when you can. Oh, I forget, is it on the first floor? No, it's on the second floor. It says Dad's room. Okay, can we sleep? Yay! <laughs> Because we're missing a little bit of HP. There we go. 
Oh yeah, I should save because I remember last time last time I streamed this I didn't save until the end of the stream <laughs> I don't even know. I don't I don't think there's an auto save either Okay, so we're going to the mist walled and we did have mayoral theft Huh Uh, we need to find a bear claw. Should I check? Maybe I should check and make sure. Um, see if any, maybe see if any more side quests have just popped up. Because then we could see if we can just do them along the way. <laughs> you had a nightmare about that? Wait, um, what about? I forgot what I was like just talking about. <laughs> term failed wait what wait like I ran out of time to do this no <laughs> oh yeah about not saving got an amazing run of minecraft but it didn't save no wait what the heck I like missed a side quest to find a kitten I totally would have wanted to do that oh man I'm not gonna go like go back to do it but okay well let's Yeah, term failed. Huh. And then, a Lee's Highway monster. A ferocious monster known as a Rhino Cider. <laughs> a Rhino Cider? Okay. And then, yeah, we need the Bear Claw. Man, I would have totally wanted to rescue a lost kitten. <laughs> I guess I must have needed to do it before we went to the, the dungeon. Oh, wow, it's Shara too. Hi, Claire. All three bracers spoken of in town together at once. Does this mean that something happened? Like, can I find the person? Oh yeah, Ida. That's the person who had the, uh, the quest. Oh, well, there's the cat. Okay, her cat must have just come back to her on its own. Well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> we missed the quest because that's the reason we failed the quest is the cat just came back on its own. <laughs> and also, just imagine a group of adventurers racing around at the speed IRL, opening and closing doors and cabinets at breakneck speed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like... Vroom. Okay. So we did have... On the Elise Highway, there's a Rhino Cider. <laughs> What's a Rhino Cider? Wait, is that... Cause that, like, I'm thinking like genocider, like a rhino side, something that kills rhinos. <laughs> this is rhino side. Zoom in. <laughs> I'm just thinking like all these adventurers have the zoomies. <laughs> ah, okay. So we'll look out for the rhino cider. And we'll look out for a bear claw. Not the, uh, the pastry. Bear claw. <laughs> Wait. Let me, like, move the camera around, make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, it is a long straight line. Great. <laughs> okay, there's one of those plant guys. Oh, there's some bugs. Oh, oh, ran into a bug. <laughs> These guys are easy. Go and just do a dual strike. There you go. Oh yeah, we get to see Shara in battle. Yeah, Crowan, I don't know if you were here before, but we have a new party member. Here she is, she uses a whip. So what are her craft things? She's got Sylph and Whip. Ooh, an area. Okay, so she's got an AoE. And she has Sadist Whip. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's her finishing move. <laughs> Crowan. <laughs> Wait, what? And she has some wind and fire stuff. Um. Hey, well, these things are weak to fire, so I guess I'll use the fire. Oh, she has a ton of, uh, oh, I think she's just higher level than us. 
So yeah, she has much higher HP and EP. So here, use some fire. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, what did she say? She she had some kind of taunt. Oh yeah, she's level twelve. We'll catch up eventually. <laughs> yes. There we go. I'll just continue. Wait. Oh, wait, we're going south. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep out, look out for something that looks like it would be called a Rhino Cider. <laughs> mm, oh, is that it? That looks like a Rhino Cider. <laughs> I think we have to fight it. It's right on the bridge. Look at that thing. What the heck? It's not weak and it doesn't resist anything. Alright. Try a dual strike, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. I think it has high defense. <laughs> that would make... <laughs> Looks like it. You love the Rhino Cider theme? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, go ahead and do some magic, I suppose. Oh, boy. Okay, he's not, it's not too bad. Here, well, we'll mix it up. I'll do some fire and do some water. <laughs> Look, hey, if this is Genshin Impact, we'd get the, uh, the Vaporize effect. The Whippy Lady? Uh, she's a, like, Sherizard. She sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> Go, Sherizard! Go and do some more dual striking. Hitting them twice is better than hitting them once, after all. Here, we'll actually, let's see what her physical attack looks like. Oh yeah, just long range too, nice. <laughs> Crowin. <laughs> Got Lucky Fang. Exterminated the monster, yay! What is that? Mars Sparrow? Okay. That one's new. Didn't work, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, Crowen. We, we appreciate you just the way you are. It's got this area attack, but I don't think they're close enough to each other for me to hit both of them. She, she, can she kill this in one hit? Well, she missed. <laughs> I guess not. I guess we'll never know. Okay, sh she can do her AoE. Yeah, spin around! <laughs> nice. Alright, um... Can you get over there? He cannot get over there. Alright. Get him! Oh, she says, oh, are you- are we done already? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> hey, Grezzy, you timed it perfectly! Good work. <laughs> oh, there's a bug. Plus three bugs. It's okay, Shares are to whip him. I'm so proud of you, Grezzy. <laughs> Charizard, <laughs> stay away from me, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you wouldn't want her to stay away from you. Who were you calling mommy earlier? <laughs> Don't worry, it wasn't me. It's our new, it's our new party member, uh, Charizard. 
Charizard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's this lady here with the, the white hair. She has a whip. <laughs> Charizard is hot, <laughs> or Charizard. <laughs> oh, I get it, because he's a fire type. Charizard, eh. Get it? Yeah, I got it. I got it, Grezzy. <laughs> oh, just ran into another uh, Mars Sparrow. Whip it real good. Oh wait, no, that's not the... Wait, what's the song that has a whip it? Or you must whip it. Whip it into shape. Yeah, that's it. That's, a, that's the one I was thinking of. I was getting it mixed up with push it. <laughs> oh, we got some poultry, apparently. Also, I want to look at... <laughs> we are off. We are. We're going to a new area. A ferocious flying monster. Can summon meteorites? <laughs> Why can this bird summon meteors? <laughs> what the hell? Anything else new? Not really. Oh, can we look at the rhino cider? A monster usually living in forests. Its thick armored hide gives it great defense. Yeah. Yeah, why can a sparrow summon meteors? <laughs> No worries, Krona, don't judge. Okay. <laughs> you have Grezzy's blessing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grez <laughs> Grezzy is also guilty of, uh... <laughs> guilty of, a uh, thirsting over animes. East, Mistwald. Well, okay, hold on, the map is like... Or the camera's the other way, so east would be this way. Oh, hello! Hello, hello! I think it warranted a bonk. <laughs> hello! Hello, Abby! And Rug Rug Zana Nana Nana. Let me do. Hold on. Oh, Crowen did it. Thank you, Crowen. <laughs> and Jinx, hello! Cronus, hello! <laughs> Bunny, hello! <laughs> Welcome. Wait, cr <laughs> or wait, oh wait, or wait, did you, no wait, you didn't do it. <laughs> didn't you get it right, right the first time? Or did you, I'm so confused. <laughs> Thanks for trying anyway. And hello Harding, welcome, welcome. Did you, wait. Wait, did you just shut out your self? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I think you got it right that time. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, first try, first try. Perfect. <laughs> that was great, that was perfect, Grezzy. Hello, welcome everyone. Hello. So thank you for the raid. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, Bunny. What were you playing? I know you were you were doing some kind of collab, right? What was it? It was like Pummel Pummel Party, was that it? I hope you had fun. Uh Chrissy in a <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, Crowen, thank you for catching everyone up. We've got a lady with a whip in the party now. Um and apparently there's yeah, a bird that can shoot meteors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bunny won? You won the Pummel Party? That's good, that's good. Need to have a Mario Party? Yeah, yeah. If we can if we can find some people with the Mario Party. But welcome, thank you everyone for coming. We're playing Trails in the Sky. Which is a fun little RPG. So I hope you all are having a great evening. And we'll continue to have one. Let's see, we're going to continue our adventure. Oh, here's, here's the bird that can summon meteors. <laughs> oh god, there's a there's so many enemies. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Kill him. 
<laughs> Bunny killed everyone, I can't believe it. Bunny has to go to jail now. <laughs> Bunny had the power of God in anime on their side. I'm gonna try and get this bird before it summons a meteor on me. Well, I like how she's taking zero damage. <laughs> We're all taking zero damage. <laughs> We're like overpowered. Okay, she can probably finish off the sparrow. There you go, whip him. Uh, hold on. Do you see the sparrow? I think he's getting ready to summon a meteor. Look at like how he's like vibrating, <laughs> and he's transparent for some reason. I kind of want to see it summon the meteor, so I'm actually not going to kill him. <laughs> Oh, here he goes, here he goes. Yep, he did it. <laughs> that bird just summoned a meteor from space. <laughs> He's vibing. Yeah, he was vibing so hard that he summoned a meteor. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> Destroying the wildlife. Here, can I actually use her, like, ability? No, they're still too far away from each other. <laughs> I'm never going to get the chance to use that. Whip that plant. He's too far away. Uh, I'll just try anyway. Yeah, I like how we're all taking zero damage from these guys. There you go. We've defeated the plants. Tender poultry and fresh herbs. Whoa! <laughs> yes, exactly. Just like that. Let me heal up a bit. Yeah, Joshua definitely needs that. You're having yeah, you've been you've been finding a lot of uh, chances for to use the uh, sound alerts tonight. <laughs> You're not sorry, okay. <laughs> Wait. Is there something? No, I thought there would be a treasure chest, but there was just bugs. <laughs> Alright, let's whip these bugs. She just used to take another turn. Great. <laughs> Always good. <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> I like how so many people have the uh, the animated emotes now. <laughs> it's great. What did she say? She said like, "Seems you came up short." Go. Can't wait until you have them. Yeah, oh, I should see. Yeah, later we can see if we're able to do some? I'm not sure. So this is Mistwald, huh? It's very green. <laughs> can you tell us anything, Shara? It's Misty. <laughs> That's why they call it that. Someone came through here, all right. From what I can see, a number of people passed through here not long ago. I wager Mira, we're on the right track. How can you be so sure? Because tracking fugitives is an essential skill for bracers. Anyway, let's check the woods. Be sure to keep your voices low. Roger that! Understood. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting cooking is a thing. <laughs> Wholesome pasta. Say so pasta. A maple cookie, but we don't have enough to make any of this. Oh, and this is an actual dungeon, because we don't have a, a map anymore. Okay, we got some weird bees. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Did you say screams loudly? Yeah. <laughs> Keep your voices down. Ah! Hmm. 
All right, hit that B. Nice. No silence, only loud. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to see her sadist whip ability. <laughs> we'll look forward to that. I'm sure Crowan will enjoy that if he gets to see it. <laughs> what the heck is that? Huh? What? Wait, what? <laughs> um... <laughs> thinking that <laughs> it's just um we've almost charged up a uh, charizards what are you saying sadist wipe <laughs> sadist whip uh her like finishing move is called sadist whip so i was like oh <laughs> crowan might enjoy seeing that Here like here's estelle's finishing move What even are these? They're like weird, they're like mines just floating in the air. <laughs> no, totally not. Hold on, what is it? Moth cluster? No, that's not it. Forest mist? Oh, that's it. Mist-like monster that lurks in forests. Blows gases on its enemies. Difficult to hit. Okay. Yeah, it's just like a weird ball with some gas around it. Oh, there's a bee. Are they bees or are they hornets? They're killer hornets, yeah. Totally different. Uh... Give me a dual strike. No, Joshua! <laughs> no, no! Oh, well. <laughs> Just a fan. A big fan. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. She doesn't- Oh, Estelle got poisoned, I think. This is like the first time we've encountered status effects. <laughs> uh, shit's getting real. No! Sherazar got poisoned. You don't care about status effects? Okay. Fine. Be quiet and charge the gauge. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> God. So demanding. She's at 99. <laughs> she needs just one more. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what do you think we're here for? <laughs> okay, okay. And the cool thing about the finishing moves is you can use them even when it's not their turn. So here you go. She's gonna use Sadist Whip on the B. Here we go. Someone's been naughty. Someone's been naughty. <laughs> oh, she did the laugh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Oh, and also Grezzy said I'm here for the food. <laughs> Burgess, Burgess. Yeah, she did the laugh. Like she held up her, her hand and did the like, oh, ho, ho, ho. The show pixel cleavage. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a mature rated stream now. My <laughs> entire pips. Oh my god. Uh, that was funny. <laughs> You were not disappointed. That's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that was even better than than I would have thought. The 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 anime laugh was was amazing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I was going to check something. Um, does poison wear off after the fight? Looks like it does. 
So that is good. I appreciate that. Oh, okay, he's running after me, so I should just fight him. Okay. Let's see. Can you get a dual strike on there? Yeah, yeah. That nah, still doesn't get him, though. Take him out. <laughs> they knew. They knew what they did exactly. Hmm. I can wait to heal until after the battle. Is she at 99 again? No. No, she's at 13. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Oh dang, poison does kind of do a lot though. It's okay, we'll... We'll, <laughs> we'll get it again. We'll have another... We'll pull, I'm sure it'll, we'll have plenty of opportunities to use her ability. <laughs> And then we need, to, we need to heal up Estelle. She keeps getting poisoned. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, she just leveled up. Okay, great. <laughs> what, my ability? What, like, my, like, finishing move? Tell her to stop, oh, getting poisoned. <laughs> I mean, I, if I could, I would. Found a tear bomb. <laughs> Back for more, eh? Some people are never satisfied. <laughs> I, I really like that every every treasure chest has unique dialogue if you investigate it after you open it. What the fuck? Oh, oh no, no! Ah, oh, is that... No. <laughs> yes. I use magic to turn into a shark that turns into a spike ball is actually a bomb. Duh. Okay, what's up with this thing? The pine plant. Okay, well, it's weak to fire. See, I don't even... <laughs> I don't even want to fight this. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the bear claw? Oh, it is. Nice, okay. We need that for a quest. I really wish I got a map of the dungeon. Oh, hi. That seems fairly straightforward, I guess, so. It's not that bad. Oh, there's another uh, Rhino Cider. Oh, hi. Okay, hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, monsters. Hi, there's a, there's a lot of you. Uh, okay. God, I'm gonna get freaking lost. You would use water to stab people. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay, I guess we found the place we need to go. That's good. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, she's the- she is the thief. She seems so nice. Heh <laughs> that was too easy. And to think that something as exquisite as this fell into my hands with almost no effort. Wait till Dawn and Kyle hear about this. You surprised me, that's for sure. The way you pulled off that act wearing that school uniform was simply astounding. Just what you'd expect from the mademoiselle of an ex-aristocratic ex family. Yeah, yeah, but what's in the past is in the past. But it certainly doesn't hurt that in this outfit I can deceive almost anyone. I don't know, I'm doing like a Joey Wheeler voice. That gullible, that gullible mayor and dim-witted bracer girl. <laughs> Idiots, the whole lot of them. Hey, you. Puncher. <laughs> wow, crazy. <laughs> What was that? Calm down. Let's see what else they have to say. 
<laughs> Fine, but I'm not happy about this. Yeah, but that girl seemed pretty tough. I mean, she took care of all the monsters that appeared in the mine. The mine? Oh, so you're the one who screwed up their job. If you had just done it like you were supposed to, I wouldn't have had to put on a monkey show to get this thing. My apologies. Eh, forget about it. All's well that ends well. At any rate, those two kids being bracers was an absolute joke. Especially that brainless bimbo. She honestly believed that we could be friends. What a freaking moron. I had to try so hard just to keep from laughing. Wahaha, <laughs> how stupid can she be? Now that is rich. Hahaha, <laughs> it's just so absurd. What's so funny? Oh. <laughs> it's you guys. Yep, it's the brainless bimbo and her absolute joke of a bracer partner. And this probably won't come as a surprise, but we're going to beat you up now. <laughs> They heard you, Grezzy. They're gonna punch her. <laughs> what? Bracers? How did they find... You did a fine job stealing that septium from the mayor's residence, but... Looks like you were a little careless in the end. In accordance with the laws of the Bracer Guild, you are hereby under arrest and charged with breaking and entering, vandalism, and burglary. It would be in your best interest not to resist, but I'm sure Estelle is hoping you will. This doesn't look good. What are we gonna do now, Josette? How about you quit quaking in your boots for starters? Those bracers are nothing more than a ragtag group of kids. I think it's time we showed them the real strength of the Kapwa family. Okay, should I be I'm doing like a mafia voice? Like, hey, it was the Kapwa family. Who are you to be calling us kids, you, you brat? I've had it up to here and I'm gonna do something about it right now. Hey, that's my line! Oh, she has a gun! <laughs> Alright, boys, get him! Roger that, my pleasure. Understood. Oh, boy. Let's fight the Sky Pirates. Oh my gosh, she just shot Estelle with a gun. <laughs> She'll be voiced by- oh, Estelle would be Laura Bailey? I can see that. I mean, she does have some voice acted lines. Okay, so we got <laughs> yeah, we got bandits and we got Josette. Okay. Ooh, we could use Hurricane. Uh, okay, I can hit those two. Get him! Yeah. Oh, they did zero damage to Estelle. Oh no, or to Josette. That's no good. <laughs> Let's do some magic. Let's just pull out all the stops. She gives you Mako vibes. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Just always hits everything. Is she Laura? You could. I don't know. You could look it up. I don't know if um if you could find the credits somewhere. Who's he targeting? I think he's targeting him, right? Get him. Yeah, there you go. This should finish him off. Oh, wait, I targeted a different person. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Josette is preparing to use arts. Uh oh. I just want to take out the minions before I focus on her. Oh, here you go. I can finally use her uh, area of effect move. Get him. Well, hit one of them. <laughs> there you go, and then we can use her. Oh, she can hit all three? Can she hit all four? No. She can hit three of them. It's pretty big AoE. Okay. I think that one's done. Ow. Ow. <laughs> She just heal herself? She was at full health. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. Okay, that guy's almost down. I can just hit him with a regular attack, probably. There you go.
Here, we'll go whip that guy. Yeah, she's healing herself again. <laughs> she hasn't ta even taken any damage. <laughs> is Stephanie Shea? Okay. Do you see, if you're looking at the credits, do you see anybody? Any voice actors that we know? Hmm. She, she doesn't really take a lot of uh, physical damage, so I guess I should use some magic. Petrify breath. No. Ooh. Oh no. Is it still just turned to stone? Oh dear. Oh, the guy is um Ichigo's voice actor? Uh what's his name? <laughs> Johnny Young Bosch? Oh, okay, wow, okay. Interesting. Okay, yep, uh, still, still a rock. Huh. Yeah, wow, she just really doesn't take a lot of damage. Yeah, why is her defense so high? Hmm, <laughs> can I... Can I do something about... About Estelle being a rock. Is there something I can do about that? <laughs> Kyle Hebert plays someone? Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Oh. I guess I did get up early today. I don't know, I guess I'll just hit her with some magic again. Some wind magic. Oh, she does not need it more healing. Estelle, are you gonna get unpetrified anytime soon? She's still still petrified. <laughs> I should just keep hitting her with magic, I guess. I feel like she's probably going to end up joining our party at some point. <laughs> just kind of like a guess. She's gonna end up joining our side. That's the kind of thing they do in an RPG. <laughs> yeah, we've almost got her. There you go. Yay, boss defeated! <laughs> Hopefully Estelle is no longer a statue. <laughs> how in the world? Or how in the world? You had enough yet? That's what you get for taking bracers lightly. Yeah, that's what she gets for being a jerk. And we'll be taking this back if you don't mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> Recovered septium crystal. Hey, that septium belongs to me, Yug. No, not to you. To the people of Rolent, that's who. The sheer nerve you have to say something like that is astounding. Now that we've got the crystal back, how about we move on to confession time? That's an interesting name you mentioned, the Kapwa family. Me and my big mouth. I have absolutely no idea what you were talking about. 
So you want to be a tough act to crack, do you? I don't mind at all. In fact, I like them that way. <laughs> oh, she just whipped her. <laughs> ah! What are you trying to do? That's a dangerous thing to be swinging around like that. Well, if you can't answer with your mouth, then maybe your body can answer instead. <laughs> but don't worry, I'll be extra gentle. <laughs> Get away from me, you crazy witch! I think Cher is enjoying this. Well, let's just sit back and enjoy the show. Look out, Cher! She's Francisco Von Karma, yeah. <laughs> An orbital gun? Are you alright, Shara? I'm fine, forget about me, look at that. Is there airship coming in? Yeah. Oh, 3D model. <laughs> An airship? <laughs> Looks like the tables are turned in our favor now, aren't they? Are you okay, Drizette? Kyle, you're late. Where have you been? Oh, never mind. Just hurry up and give us a hand. No can do. Our push into the Rolent region has, has been put on hold. Something big came up in the Bose region while you were away. What's that supposed to mean? I don't have time to explain. Hurry and hop on, or I'll have to leave you behind. Crap. Just where do you think you're going? We'll pick this up another day, and don't think you've won either. Payback's gonna be a beast. Friggin' Sky Pirates. <laughs> I sure wasn't expecting anything like that to come out of the woodwork. <laughs> Looks like they caught us all off guard. This isn't a laughing matter. Right now I'm so frustrated, I don't even know what to think. Well, on the bright side, we did get the Septium Crystal back. Switching gears. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get to punch the ship, sorry. Maybe later. That group sure looked to me like a bunch of Sky Bandits. Yes, they certainly seem of that variety. It also sounds like they've made a, the Bose region their base of operations as well. I certainly wouldn't have expected a group like that to travel all the way to a rural place like Rolent. I couldn't care less if they're Sky Bandits or Brigands. The next time I see that scruffy lying jerk of a tomboy, I'm gonna thwack bam kapow her. What's thwack bam kapow supposed to mean? Thus the Septium Crystal stolen from the mayor's residence was safely recovered. After returning it to the mayor, Estelle and the others returned to the guild to report the details of the incident. <laughs> That's what the bandits were saying. <laughs> it looks like you've had a rough day. Who'd have thought the Sky Bandits would appear? I don't blame you for letting them escape. No, this time was my fault. I should have been more careful. I'm really far from being in the same league as Cassius. It's not your fault, Shara. I let my emotions get the best of me and... I was careless as well. No, you guys did a great job. Your, your on-site investigation of the mayor's residence was flawless, too. Don't you think you should recommend them, Ina? Yes, I was thinking the same thing as well. Recommend? What do you mean? Hold your horses. First comes the payment for a job well done. Yay! Ooh, we advanced to 7th class. Received Eagle Eye Quartz. This is for you both, and take this as well. A recommendation. This is... As of now, you are both junior bracers. In other words, bracers in training. In order to become senior bracers, you'll need to receive recommendations from all regional branches in the kingdom. This is your recommendation from the Roland branch. Is it really okay for us to have this? I had heard that, or that in order to become a full-fledged bracer, we need to achieve something fairly noteworthy. I think in light of the jobs performed in your father's stead, and your great showing here, your achievements are sufficient. However, those achievements are only for your work here in Roulette. You'll need to receive recommendations from the other regional branches after achieving success there as well. Bose, Rouen, Zeiss, and finally Grancel. You've still got a long road ahead of you. 
Even so, I'm really happy. It was worth all the hard work. Now that we've come this far, don't you think we should visit the other regions too, Joshua? I figured you'd say as much. I agree with you, but we can't decide this all by ourselves. We should discuss it with Dad when he gets home. Right. Oh dear. Oh. That's the telephone, right? Hello, this is the Bracer Guild's Relent Branch in the Liberal Kingdom. Oh, it's been a while since we last talked, hasn't it? I see. Are you sure? That's terrible. I wonder if something happened. It looks that way to me. Yes, that's right. He left on business the other day. What? I apologize, but this is a little difficult to believe. Understood. I'll pass on the news to his family. Oh no! They'll be fine. They're bracers too. Yes, and if you hear anything else, please let me know. Either he's dead or he's missing. What's wrong, Ina? It's unusual for you to be so surprised like that. Who was calling? The Bose branch. Something terrible has happened. The airliner, Lind, has disappeared over the Bose region. Ah, okay. Yeah, that was the plane he was on, right? Or the airship. How is that possible? I don't know any of the details, but the Royal Army is currently conducting a wide-scale search. Due to this event, all, of the, all other flights have been postponed. That explains the backup at the landing port. And... Ina? Estelle? Joshua? Please brace yourselves. Get it? Brace yourselves? Because they're called bracers? Okay. Your father, Cassius, was aboard the airliner, which went missing. He squat a lot away. What? Impossible. There's got to be some kind of mistake. It seems his name was on the passenger list. Liberal Bracer Guild, Relent Branch, Senior Bracer, Cassius Bright, 45. Oh dear. He's been dadnapped. Somebody dadnapped our dad. A prologue end. Finish the prologue, yay! <laughs> Let's save. Wait, did you just see the achievement that popped up? It said, why is my present a boy? <laughs> I remember that, that's what, that's what um, Estelle said when, <laughs> when Joshua showed up. Somebody dad napped her dad. Yeah, why were, we, were they surprised? Yeah, wasn't, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the ship that he was on. Did they forget? Did they forget the name of the ship? Estelle, are you in there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Grezzy. Joshua, dinner's ready. Just to let you know, we'll be having roasted basil chicken and onion soup gratin. This sounds so good. I'll come down later, so why don't you two go on ahead and eat? Alright, well make sure to come down before your food gets cold. The Wheel of Fortune card again. Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah. <laughs> Something really is going on. I just can't see what it is. Hmm? Where's Estelle? She said to go ahead and eat without her. She didn't seem to have an appetite. I see. She took the news a lot better than I thought she would. It's not surprising she doesn't want to come out of her room. Seeing as how close she is with her father. I agree. So what do you think about all of this, Shara? Is it an accident or an incident? To be honest, I couldn't say either way. Your dad is a top-class bracer. When it comes to crisis management, he's the best there is. Whichever it is, if your father happens to be there, it'll be resolved. But the fact is, an airliner, along with your father, has gone missing. In other words, what you're trying to say is that things that shouldn't have happened, happened, right? Don't lose heart on me now. You need to be a stout wall of support and bear Estelle up. I'll get to work tomorrow and see what I can find out. Man, it sure smells good down here. I can't stand it any longer. <laughs>
An airliner. Yeah, they kidnapped the entire airliner. <laughs> what? Estelle, are you okay? I'm so hungry, I thought I was gonna pass out. Oh, this looks so good. Bon appetit. Aren't you two having any? This is great, the basil flavor really comes out when you roast it. You sure know how to cook, Joshua. Well, thanks. Come on, Shara, don't you just sit there too. Do you want to drink some of my dad's brandy from a secret stash? I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Stein Roast that's about 20 years old in there. <laughs> Bone apple tea. Did you say Stein Rose and 20 years old too? <laughs> Shara, what do you think you're doing? Sorry, Estelle, I'm going to have to pass this time. By the way, what were you doing up in your room? You didn't come down even after Joshua called you for supper. Huh? Oh right, I was just looking for some extra underwear. I was having a bit of trouble finding one of my favorites because it was stuffed in the back of one of the drawers. Uh, underwear. Oh, and a set of gear for traveling. I mean, who knows how long we'll be gone, so I figure as long as we're prepared, we'll have nothing to worry about. Uh, so what you're saying is, you intend to head to Bose to find your father? Well, duh, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> and while I can't imagine anything bad happened to him despite his horrible luck, waiting around just doesn't suit me, so I'm gonna go check things out for myself. Ha, <laughs> you really are something else. Whether it's your positive attitude or thick skin, I can't say, but... What? Well, you're so rude, Joshua. But you are coming along too, right? Of course. However, it looks like all airliner flights have been cancelled until the army finishes their search. <laughs> it seems like the only way to Bose is on foot. Walk to Bose, huh? I wonder how long that's gonna take. For a bracer on foot, if they hurry, they can make it there in about half a day. But if that's the route you're taking, that makes things easy. I think I'll tag along as well. Really? You'll come with us? But aren't you busy with a bunch of other jobs? Hey, I trained under your father, right? Did you honestly think I'd just sit here when something could have happened to the person I owe so much to? I'm going to talk to Ina and have her pass my jobs at the guild to another member. Shara. We really appreciate this, Shara. We really appreciate you coming with us. You're much higher level than us, so it'll be very helpful. <laughs> you really shouldn't be thanking me. I just can't leave a job as big as this up to a bunch of newbies. I hate to say it, but you're probably right. Oh well, since Shara's along for the ride now, I do feel a bit more confident. We appreciate you coming with us. <laughs> Myself as well. Anyway, let's make sure to drop by the guild tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll need to explain the situation to Aina. Alright. Disappearance of the Lind. And we're finally in chapter one! <laughs> I understand the situation now. To be frank though, with Sherazard taking off after Cassius, I'm going to be really short-handed. But since this involves him directly, please don't worry about anything. I really appreciate this, Ina. Make good use of Ridge while we're gone. He should be able to deal with at least three times his normal workload. Don't you think that's a bit harsh? Don't worry. If things get too hectic, I'll ask for help from the Grand Cell branch. By the way, Sherazard, can I get a minute? I'd like to talk with you about the job you were going to do. Sure, no problem. Estelle, Joshua, could I have you two wait upstairs? I'll be done in a minute. Understood. Um, Shara? If we're going to be waiting, would you mind if we did it out in front of the clock tower? I'd like to say hi to someone. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, then let's meet, a, yeah, meet up in front of the clock tower. As soon as I'm done here, I'll head over there myself. Got it. Come on, Joshua. Uh, sure. Septian Calendar 1075, erected in partnership with the Liberal Royal Family, Septian Church, and Roland City. Septian Calendar 1192, destroyed during the Hundred Days' War, when Rolent was bombarded by the Erebonian Imperial Army. Septian Calendar 1197, rebuilt with the cooperation of the citizens of Rolent. 
Every time I see this clock tower, I always think. <laughs> a dangerous pastime, I know. Uh, they sure did a superb job restoring it after the war. You can sure feel the spirit of Roland's people from this. Estelle? Um, Joshua? What do you think about going up with me and waiting until Shara shows up? You mean the clock tower? Sure, I don't mind. Okay, come on. The morning air is so refreshing. Hey look, Joshua, we can see the house from here. You're right, I can see the roof. But do you want to tell me what's going on since you've always avoided coming up here? I was under the impression that you didn't like this place. I like this place, but I just can't casually come up here. Because this is the place where my mom died. Whoa. What? Oh. Ten years ago during the war, when the Imperial Army surrounded Rolent, they bombarded the symbol of the city, the clock tower, to try and get the citizens to surrender. This was at the time Dad was fighting in the Royal Army. I wanted to see who he was fighting against, so I climbed up the clock tower. And when the bombardment started, I couldn't get away. When I came to, I hardly had a scratch on me. My mother had saved me. I was wrapped tightly in her arms, shielded from the rubble. And as I cried, she sang my favorite lullaby. But when they finally dug us free... Jeez. <laughs> After the war ended and this place had been rebuilt, I avoided coming here for the most part. It's not because I have painful memories of this place, though. It's just when I come here, a part of me wants so much to draw on her strength. Plus, I felt that I can't be strong like her if I'm always trying to rely on her. Estelle. But today is okay, right? Relying on her just this once. Asking her to bring Dad home safely. Asking her to protect him. Of course it is. And don't worry, Dad's safe for sure. Your mother's protecting him, so there's no doubt in my mind that he's safe. And if he happens to be in a bit of trouble, then you can come to his rescue. Just like your mother did for you, you can do the same for your dad. And don't forget, I'm here to help you too. Joshua. I know I can't completely understand everything you've been through, but... I can stay here by your side as I am now. And if you need a shoulder to cry on, you've always got mine. So... Huh? <laughs> Joshua, you're trying too hard. You shouldn't say things like that so lightly. What do you mean? If I were any other girl, I would totally have misinterpreted your intentions just now. You are seriously the type who's going to have problems with romantic relationships in the future. I'm already starting to get worried. Well, excuse me for trying to be nice. Why do you have to be like that when someone is genuinely worried about you? Thanks for cheering me up, Joshua. I feel a lot better now. I guess as long as I get some kind of thanks, it was worth looking like a complete fool. But you are unbelievable, Herf. Don't be so mad. I'm really thankful, believe it or not. So how about we get down from here, huh? I'm sure Shara's waiting for us. You're probably right. Mom, I finally realized why I wanted to become a bracer. It's so I could become strong and protect others just like you. So please watch and see. I won't fail to bring Dad home safe again. Aw, the two of you had such a cute scene going on up there. <laughs> why, my cheeks even feel a bit hot just thinking about it. What's that supposed to mean? You were spying on us? Give me some credit, will you? I just happened to see you when I looked up to check the time. I sure wish I had an orbital camera to get a shot of that view. Come on. What are you trying to say, Shara? That's called family bonding, plain and simple. It's kind of like your habit of hugging everyone after your third bottle of wine. Let's not get into that. 
What's with the sigh? You really don't know how to take a joke, do you? Well, whatever. Did you say hi to Lena while you were up there? Yeah. I even asked for her to watch over Dad. I see. Then I guess it looks like you're all set. You know, Lena's protection is equal to that of the goddess herself. Your dad's safety is pretty much guaranteed. I think you may be giving her a little too much credit. Now that you mention it, you met Estelle's mother before, right, Shara? Yeah, when I was a child. I was still in a troop at the time. A troop? Yeah, a troop in a traveling circus. Shara was the dancer. Although it was a long time ago, we first met when she came to Rolent with the circus. Twelve years ago, to be exact, I was eleven and Estelle was four. And because of that chance encounter, when I became a bracer, I trained under your father. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll tell you about it sometime when I get a chance. Are you about ready to head for Bose? With airliner flights cancelled, we'll just have to make our way to Bose the old-fashioned way, by foot. First we'll need to make our way to the, Ver the Verte Bridge checkpoint, which sits on the border of the Bose region. The Verte Bridge is located at the west end of the Milch Main Road. Looks like we're all set, so let's go. Yay! Alright, let's see. Hey, Fremont. Lately, my father-in-law has been giving me job advice. Coming from an industry vet veteran, there's a lot I can learn. It seems I've been pretty conceited over my work in the past. I feel pretty embarrassed about it now. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that you're <laughs> learning and growing. Um, okay, we did have stuff to report, right? Yeah, the Elise Highway Monster. Nice. That's right, we failed the lost kitten, I know. Okay. There's a new one. Letter carrier, I'm looking for someone. Oh, these are both for Father Divine, okay. So we'll go see him at the chapel. Also, like, <laughs> did his parents name him Divine? And he was like, well, I guess I gotta become a priest. Or did he, ch <laughs> did he change his name when he became a priest? Well, good morning, everyone. Are you going on a journey somewhere? Yep. Just over to Bo's. But before we left, there was something we wanted to give you. To me? Hand it over Bear Claw. Hand it over Savory Pinion. This is the Bear Claw and Savory Pinion you were looking for. Please use them as medicinal ingredients. You requested these at the guild, right? That's right, I did put in a request. I'm just surprised that you went to all the trouble to do this for me. My thanks to the both of you, Estelle and Joshua. It appears that you both are doing a wonderful job. This is encouraging to know. We'll try to do our best. With that attitude, I have nothing to worry about. Make sure to act with caution, wherever your travels take you. I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. Yay! Then he had another one. By the way, you said you were headed to Bose, right? Yeah, that's right. Then in that case, could I ask a favor of you? I had wanted to send Father Holstein a letter, but the airliners are grounded. So how about it? Can I get you to deliver this letter while you're there in Bose? Yeah. Sure, we'll do it. It shouldn't be a problem, since the letter's not that big to begin with. I really appreciate this. Alright then, here you are. So all we need to do is give this letter to Father Holstein and Bose, right? Yes, the chapel's on the east side of Bose City, so it should be fairly easy to locate. Traveling around other regions and broadening your knowledge is food for the mind. I pray that the goddess will guide you on your journey. Yay! Okay. Well, look at all these quests. Do, 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 do. I suppose before we go... Is there equipment for Sherazard? In the... Weapon shop? There is not. <laughs> And she already has, like, the most powerful stuff available. Okay. What about magic? Let's see. Ooh. 
Do we have enough? Oh, we do have enough. We can open a another one for Estelle. Either Estelle or Joshua. I wonder what the difference is. That one's blue. And these are all like, like an orange background. Like, kind of curious. Huh, okay. All right, and then we're, we're just a little short for Estelle. She already has most of hers open. Okay. So we opened one for Joshua. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll equip the information one. Cause that'll like fill in some more information on enemies that we fight. Uh I can see enemies from a distance too. Actually maybe I'll do that. Because I haven't really been using that like earth move. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't he? Hold on. Let's go with that. Anything to say? The piece of septium that my dad was asked to engrave for the mayor finally arrived. This is the first time I've ever seen such a splendid piece of Esmalis. My dad's doing the etchings on it right now. Oh yeah? The septium from the mayor finally arrived. Now this is one fine crystal, I tell you. And I hear it's even going to be a present to Her Majesty the Queen. It's been a while since I've been this excited to do a job, that's for sure. Nice. Alright. Then yeah, I think that was the only other quest, was just delivering that letter. Which we're working on now. Oh, we can report the, uh, finishing that other one. Give me this stuff. Alright. One thing I'm gonna I'm gonna save real quick. Hmm. Well, we're reaching about the three hour mark. It is midnight, so I suppose we can wrap things up. Can go ahead and find somebody to raid real quick. <laughs> So thank you everyone for coming. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Roxana Nana for the raid. Thank you to Grezzy and Kotaro and Rev for resubscribing. Thank you for your support. And thank you everyone just for showing up. Hi, Grezzy. Hi. Let's see. Ah, it looks like Crowan is streaming. <laughs> Let's go ahead, and we'll just uh, join our friend Crowen. Get that started. Alrighty, so thank you once again for coming. Uh, we made some, some good progress in Trails in the Sky. We recovered the stolen uh, thingamajig. The crystal thing. <laughs> we met our our new rival. <laughs> uh, what was her name? Josette, who Grezzy hates. Yeah, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So next time we will uh, we'll see if we can find out what happened to good old Cassius. All right. 
So goodbye. I just realized my theme song has been on this whole time. Why did nobody tell me? Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, okay. I guess if nobody noticed, I guess it's fine. All right. <laughs> I gotta go to my ending ending screen and I'll start the raid. Okay, bye.